so it's just so you, you had to get for some reason you it's like some random fee but like you have to get you have to use like one coin to go to the airstrip so you just grab this it's like the same deal with that chuck stuff throwing you through the window Oh, 10? Okay, I don't remember it being that pricey, but alright. That's fine. I uh, just grab some coins. Actually, it'd be easier if I just go to the uh, sewers. Okay, we're going. Alright. And now we can finally get a Get the final Delfino Plaza shine too, because uh, there's another <laughs> surprise, surprise. There's another red coin challenge here. And this is the final one. The sneaky place was just blocked off because we just couldn't get the turbo nozzle. All right, all blue coins collected. Yep. Those M's just give you coins, by the way. So th this is a, a pretty fun challenge. You basically just uh, follow a trail of coins and uh, to get to the uh, red coins. And uh, you just go across the water and whatnot. I kind of like this, actually. Except when I miss. <laughs> But it's fine. You can also see why I prefer getting 100 coins in the airstrip than the plaza itself. Because there's so many here. And we're done. Whew. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Distract him! Get him! <laughs> okay, let's now let's see that shine counter go crazy high. Because uh, you go to Riku Harbour's entrance, you can find uh, just some tanukis uh, just having a shop over here. Because apparently they, they're allowed to uh, s sell shine sprites. Yeah! You want buy, sir? Yes. I want your fur! Oh, that is so satisfying! <laughs> uh, dang. Yeah. And the la the last Imagine shine. they made you. Dis hmm. And they made you repeat for every shine you wanted. Oh, that would be awful. <laughs> they kind of do something like that in Odyssey with the with the achievements, I guess. But at least just getting a power moon in that game is quick. I, I would prefer if they ju if to Toadette just gave you all the uh, all the moons in one fell swoop though because it's a little bit annoying having to just mash A for like a, a couple minutes. 
But whatever. It could, it could be worse, I guess. Right, now we just have to do Corona Mountain and fight Bowser because the uh, the final boss gives us the last shine. So uh, since uh, this is the end of Blue Coins now, uh, but besides like padding and all that, um, how are you feeling about them? Like, would you? How would you feel? I guess a good question would be like, how would you feel if they brought them back? Less of them for me to tolerate them. Okay. Yeah, that's understandable. I think it would depend on the kind of game, because uh, uh, if it's like Odyssey, uh, I don't think it would really need them because power moves are everywhere in that game anyway. Uh, but. I don't know. Uh, Armin's got handed out so quickly in Odyssey that you could possibly replace some of them with blue coins just to have less power moons. I guess so. I mean, like, the way uh, blue coins and power... The way I see blue coins and power moons is are pretty similar because, like, you get a lot of them by just exploring the levels. Um, and just, just... And they're just intrinsically satisfying to collect. Um... And that you kind of just get an excite. I, I kind of get an excitement rush when I collect them. Like you, you find what you find a blue coin or a power moon, and you have a drive to just want to keep getting more and more, and it just makes you want to, makes you, by just by nature want to explore levels, and end up getting more enjoyment out of the game as, uh, just just from that I guess and um. I don't know. J just... It's mainly the reason, like, just picking them up is just satisfying on its own that is the reason why I've uh, kind of just completely turned around on blue coins, because I used to hate them, uh, like ever a lot of other people do, but I don't know. I... Like I said, I think near the start of this playthrough, but th this game is... Got, I, I've enjoyed this game more and more over the years, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Get kidnapped again? Yep. Just... Massive hot tub, I guess. It's all green. Exciting income. Hmm? Best. Yeah. Wait, did you just skip, did you just skip Bowser's cut? Uh, no, that's the, that was the end of the cutscene. But yeah, you just use rocket and uh, pound the uh, platforms. Uh, There's not really anything special about this boss. I, I like the idea of about both Junior and Bowser fighting together, but uh, it's not the most interesting uh, execution. It's just pretty much Junior shoots out bullet bills while Bowser sometimes breathes fire, and that's basically all this boss is. Probably Honestly, the most dangerous part is just making making it back to the platform. Ah, getting stuck. No. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oof. Oh my goodness. Okay, that got kind of hairy. <laughs> I believe there's a bullet build that makes you, that lets you, uh... Oh yeah, Bowser can do that, I forgot. But we should be die. Oh crap, missed. I think Bowser Jr. has a bullet build that lets you refill your water, but... If I can just... Come on. Just get this hit in. There we go. 
No! I kind of would have. I, I kind of want to see. Actually, no. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS does a Junior and Bowser team up again, but. In the ass. Yeah. And as she choose Mega Mario, you just stomp them. I was going to do that one time, but I missed the mushroom. Oh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't want to remember that. I, I, I like the idea of them teaming up for a boss, though. I kind of... I would like them to do that, try that again in a 3D game. That is dead. No! I like the game over. Oh my gosh. Man. No. <laughs> Man, I, I I actually cried at that as a kid, I'm gonna be honest. This is a nice ending though, I like this. Yay! Even the jerk police are happy now. This was a store and all they had to do was nothing. <laughs> Junior, I've got something difficult to tell you. Plus voice acting. I'm yeah. Not really my mama. <laughs> or a dumbass Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like what he was trying to do, because I think it's... It, like, besides, like... Just wanting to marry Peach and all that. I I I I always got the impression that Bowser just wanted Junior to have a mother, which is kind of kind of sweet, honestly. Peach was barely in this game. Yeah. Is hard for the course for most Mario games, honestly. But I I think she was in. Honestly, in this game, more than most other Mario games. It is not saying much. It's true, but... Iwata. This was one of the first games he's credited as executive producer on, actually. Oh, dang. Okay, so... Uh... Like... I... It's after Tober as president. <laughs> oh, I, I like this, uh, th these screenshots, because... Uh, it's basically just the gang actually having a vacation now. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. They can fish? Yeah. I played this in Mario Party, they can all fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Uh, I guess uh, I guess we should do Final Thoughts. Uh, I. We've basically covered uh, most of what we need to say, but just for a quick summary, I again I enjoy collecting the blue coins. They're uh, intrinsically satisfying and uh, make you explore the levels more. Um, I generally find this game to be a nice, comfortable romp with some nice, uh, challenge pla like challenging platforming sections. Um, I do. I, if they were gonna have to have the uh, Chuckster one, I think they should have placed it somewhere else besides being in the last world. But besides that, I enjoyed I enjoy that. Uh, I really enjoy the the flood gimmick. He's really fun to mess around with. Oh, so this is what you get for 120 shines, by the way. <laughs> Which uh, annoys a lot of people, but I don't I don't play collect like 3D platformers or collector funds for the 100% reward. Like, it, it, I I only, like... And since we're at the end, we, I might as well show the um, little extra thing you get. But, um... Thing postcard. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand why people get upset about the postcard, but... I... I only really... This place is really bright now. Uh, I only really do the... 100% these games if I enjoy doing it and um, if if the and 
the reward for me generally is just having a good, good time doing it in the first place because if I if I'm not I honestly I honestly don't care what what the reward is because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it because it's not fun to do but regardless yeah this is what you get if you get all the all the I think you get this issue, you just beat Bowser. Okay, nice shot. All the shine sprites on it, but... I kind of um, wish he had this costume as his default through the whole game. That would be nice, honestly. Because uh, by the time you get this, you're pretty much done. So... Uh, but yeah, I, yeah I, I enjoy this game quite a lot. Uh, I, I enjoy the world of Isle Delfino and, like... The Piantas are, and Nokis are fun character designs. I like how bouncy they are. And again, just Al Delfino as an actual world. I like how it's, it feels interconnected in the best way it can with like worlds you can see uh, like far away from one world and whatnot. And I think this has some of the most creative level themes in the Mario series from what I've played. Um, Especially when it comes to like the 3D series, um, and I I think they did a decent job with the um, whole tropical aesthetic, and I kind of I do kind of wish that we did get those cut levels like the the mall and whatnot because I would would I would have liked to have seen like what they would have done with some other locations, but for what it's worth, uh, um, I think they did a good job here. There is admittedly a lot of padding with like a lot of like having a bunch of red coin missions and whatnot. Because I feel like I feel like a, there wouldn't be nearly as many if we did have all the courses that were supposed to be here. And may, we might not even have blue coins at all if that was the case see, either. But I don't know. Taken for what we got, um, I I do enjoy this game quite a bit. It's a uh, I, I, I don't tend to replay 3D Mario games often, but when I do pick pick this game up, it's a, a pretty fun ride. And uh, minus a few annoyances like the Pachinko and Watermelons, um, I tend to have a good time playing this game. And that's generally how I feel about it. Um, it's not really... Again, I find, I find the difficulty to be grossly over-exaggerated. Most of the time, sometimes I understand what people mean, and I did die a good a good chunk in some episodes. To be completely fair, but um, I don't know. Uh, I, I I I think you could you could go you could do a lot worse, and I understand the complaints for the blue coins, and because again I I used to be one of those people that didn't like those like them either, but. Even still, uh, if you just, you, if, if you, uh, it's, it's a double-edged sword because, um, it, it's like, you can't, if you go for any of the optional shines, you may as well just go for 100% anyway because you have to do all episode 7 missions to get to Corona Mountain anyway, um, and no secret shines matter to that, so... Yeah, my biggest complaint with the game really is the fact that they probably should have structured it so Corona Mountain was set to a specific amount of shines instead. Because, um, yeah. yeah. It's uh, the fact that you're forced to do episode 7 for every mi every world and no other shine matters for really anything besides 100% is kind of an issue because, um, 60. Technically means yeah. you need just 49 shines to get to the end of the game, right? Yeah, pretty much, which is not a lot. Because <laughs> um, I... It's weird, because 64 got it... Just, just got it right on the first try. It's just... You can get a bunch of... You can get stars from a anywhere, and they all unlock levels and the Bowser levels throughout the game, and... The, it's a much better way of handling it, because... It lets the player decide what levels they want to do if they don't care about 100%. And this game doesn't really do that at all, which is kind of a shame, but yeah, either way. Uh, let's 
basically all I've got. I've summarized. Oh, uh, I guess what the only other thing I can think of. Uh, 100 coins, sh uh, 100 coins, si uh, 100 coins uh, shine suck, <laughs> and uh, I'm glad they don't bring, they haven't brought those things back since. The well, I mean they, I guess they're technically in 64 DS, but that's also a remake, so they kind of have to stay truthful to the original in some way. But I'm kind of glad they didn't bring the bring them back for like any new 3D Mario after this, technically. Or at least honestly, in the same way. Could have been, honestly, could have probably benefited from one of those because levels mm. are big enough and you don't get booted out for everything. That's true. I guess the closest you have with that is um, the power moons you have to get uh, from the shop because those cost 100 each. Um, but it, the thing with that is just the fact that you have coins, um, your coins carry over, so you can easily just get by the moons like immediately anyway so it's not that big of a deal oh well to oh. buy some power moons with the purple coins you get through the special purple coins you get to reach kingdom right i don't know if you i i don't know i, I remember it just being regular coins <laughs> anyways i i think i've rambled enough about my thoughts so would you have anything to say The underappreciated game with some flaws, but flaws at points, but it has merit. Yeah. It needs a remake more than it needs a remake just to kind of iron out the flaws. Yeah. I would like a remake or a Sunshine 2 or something. I don't think it's really likely, but it'll be. I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, you got anything else? Happy for what they kept at least. Yeah. Actually, do. She is one of my favorite Mario characters, and I'm glad he stuck around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like Junior. I, I like the idea. I like uh, shadow, like the shadow Mario disguise too, like the whole paintbrush thing. Cause like, uh, one of the first things I think of when I think Bowser Jr. is is uh, shadow Mario and the paintbrush, and uh, it's a, I think it is is a a cool a cool kind of villain gimmick for this game. So overall, as Luigi's out of ten, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I suppose that's gonna be it from us. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching uh, the Super Mario Sunshine playthrough, and um, I think next time we're gonna probably uh, grab J uh, Jason along and uh, get to uh, Rayman Legends because it's been uh, quite a while. I'm I, I, here. Yeah, it's been at least a year since we've done Origins, uh, maybe two, I don't remember, but yeah, it's It'll been be two years since in a few months' time. Okay, so I guess <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a good time to get to Legends then, so yeah, the, next time we're going to be uh, doing that, and um, yeah, that's pretty much all, we've, all I've got, so uh, yeah, next... Um, when we, when I get to, back to the Mario series, I don't know if this is going to be with Scrappy or by, just by myself, but uh, we're going to uh, be doing a New Super Mario Bros. Wii, because we're going, um, again, alternating between 3D and 2D, so yeah, Mario Wii is next, um, so hopefully that goes well, and um, yeah, that's all I've got, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later. Good night, folks.